Hi everyone, Namaste. Jai Bhagwan. I wish everyone happiness and blessings. My name is Kevin Ikov, and I'm here from Kevin Ikov Ministries. And today, what I'd like to talk about is the balance of yin and yang. And the balance of yin and yang in the body, in the mind, in the emotions, and in your whole being. And most of us suffer in our lives because we don't have a good proper balance of yin and yang in our systems. It's, it's out of balance. And the closer you can get this balance back to its natural homeostasis, the more happy, successful, better life you'll live. Pain, more pain-free or uh, symptom-free uh, than if you were taking lots of drugs and all kinds of other stuff. And how we do this is through nurturing our, ourselves through a lot of the ancient medicines really that exist here. You can use allopathic medicine, but the natural medicines like acupuncture, massage, uh, uh, Thai massage, um, all kinds of things like this in today's world. Yoga, yoga nidra, and there's a wonderful yoga nidra session that I have here with six sessions on it to help you develop your intention. These things help to rebalance your emotion, your mind, bringing it back to that homeostatic state. And the more we eat good, healthy foods and drink natural water and just live a diet of what's really meant for us to eat instead of all the boxed foods that have tremendous amounts of sugar and additives to them, the better we will bring our bodies back to a normal balance that's in accord with the earth. The closer you eat foods that are grown in your area or vicinity, the higher the quality of energy comes into your body from that particular food. And the less that's in that food in the way of pesticides and other agents that might be in the soils, uh, the healthier it is for your body and your energy. It's about bringing that energy back into that balance of yin-yang. And you can see how bad the energy is out of balance in the world from what's going on. People are just killing each other right and left. People are harming each other all the time. People have no manners or uh, care for one another anymore. People barely communicate or talk to one another anymore. And so what is on the outside and what's going on the outside is all what's going on the inside. And so if there's chaos on the outside, a disruption in the yang and the yin, you're going to be disrupted on the inside as well. And it's hard to gain balance to the yin-yang system when it's so out of balance outwardly and the only way to really go in and fix it is to go inwardly and fix this balance. But still, outwardly, you have to do things like develop kindness and forgiveness and acceptance for each other and a healthy, helping attitude to help each other. This is all part of that yin-yang balance. It's not just one thing and it's not just about just you. It's about you and everyone, and everyone, and helping each other. Like an all for one, one for all. We're all in it together to help each other. This is a complete total balance of yin yang. Peace in the world would only really happen if that balance is totally perfect. And you can see how out of balance it is right now. And so the best you can do for yourself is to rebalance and a lot of it according to the seasons, like now is a, we're moving into a, a winterish season from the fall 
to the winter in our area, and warm foods, taking care of yourself with hot chocolates, coffees, teas, things that warm you up, some warm soups, things that make you feel good. They help balance your yin-yang in the fall seasons. You have to live in accord with nature of how it comes across and balance yourself with that. And you can see the storms and things that come through, the hurricanes and things that come through that are seem to be very destructive. But if you live in accord with these things, you'll flow with them. And that's what the yin-yang is. It's about that flowing balance that happens. And there's many little gifted videos that I made along the way here to help you regain some of that balance in yourself. And so I suggest you take a look at some of them. The Yoga Nidra series, the six-part Yoga Nidra series is really the gem here, but you have to do some work to use it and benefit from it. And it's about developing your own personal intention of what you need for yourself to help eliminate pain and suffering in your life. And that's about rebalancing the yin and yang. And so you rebalance this yin-yang flow, you'll live a very, very comfortable life. And the thing is, is even though I have lots of problems in my life, from I suffer from this Desert Shield, Desert Storm illness, and that's what led me deep into this path. And the thing is, eventually I reached a point in which it doesn't matter what the sensation of the day is. I no longer refer to that really as pain. I refer that to a regulation. A regulation of my body back to its normal homeostasis. And each and every day, I get to experience that. And that's a happy feeling. A wonderful feeling. An energetic, enlivening feeling. And it's a good feeling. And so something that maybe before seemed as painful is now seen as something as a regulatory mechanism to take me back to the homeostatic state. Anyway, I hope this helps explain some things about balancing your life and balancing things back to normal and how important it is. And especially, if nothing else, in just in your nutrition, to just bring that back to normal and to homeostatic um, state in which things are normal for yourself nutritionally and staying away from the things that really aren't good for yourselves. And I think we know what those things are, um, but those deplete our energy. And the more of those types of things you eat, the more energy you will lose. And so anyway, with that said, have a blessed and wonderful fall winter season. I hope you bring your yin and yang back to a more normal state. Namaste. Jai Bhagwan, may you see the light within yourself and within all others.